Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Everything here in this blog I received is alleged, okay? They're all allegations, but because the principle being spoken of is being paid by taxpayers' money, that person becomes a civil servant of sorts. You're a civil servant if you're being paid by the government and whatever accusations are being alleged, they must be looked at by the Ministry of Education, okay? So this person is talking about an ongoing situation at a primary school in Barbados. I think it's, it's further down. The name of the school is further down. And they're saying that the Ministry of Education keeps turning a blind eye to it. And the coalition of parents and teachers of L.T. Gay Memorial School, they have formed a coalition to deal with the mismanagement and unfair treatment. And they say since about two years ago, uh, chaos came to the school and several posts were made about this particular situation in the first year and the ministry turned a blind eye to it, okay? And um, it seems as though the bank, the school's bank account has been yeah, depleted. That's right, they didn't have the word depleted here, but depleted. And the school has been plagued with environmental issues and parents are transferring their children and teachers are following behind they're leaving the school but um they said that part of the mishandling of the school's funds is teachers were working very hard last last term and to raise funds they were raising funds for several purposes several issues and now that the funds were needed and they called on whoever held the funds to come up with the funds, um, they, they were made aware that there was no money. They were made aware that there was no money. And the person is saying it's extremely unfair that they should now be expected to spend the final term of the school scrambling to raise money to cover what has been done. They are suspicious that portion of these funds are going in really shameless places. Okay. And they are determined that this particular matter must be highlighted. And the next step is to send correspondence to the minister, the chief education officer, permanent secretary, and in the Ministry of Education and again to the education officer responsible for the school. This situation cannot be allowed to continue into the next school year. This is a photo of the LT Gay Memorial School right here. And um, yeah, I'm, when this goes up, it's all alleged, all allegations of mismanagement of money and just mismanagement of the way the school is being run. And since, like I said, schools operate in Barbados, it's not a private school, it operates on taxpayers' money. And when something goes amiss with taxpayers' money, it must be looked at. And before it can be looked at, it must be known. You have to say something for it to be known. And saying something like whispered, that is not going to work. Whispering things, that does not work. You need to expose things. And like this person said, it's already on IG and it's already on FB, meaning Facebook. It's already out there, okay? And that didn't seem to bother anyone. So they're just like upping the ante. We call it here now, right? They're just like turning up the stove. They're just like, you know, making things, you know, a little bit more um, transparent. And if you are, if you are ever working and getting paid by taxpayers' money, 
you have to do right by the people. You have to do right by the people who pay you, okay? You are a civil servant, okay? This is Sherry Veronica.